Hi, I am Mrs. Minal Kirtigar and today we will see how to use superposition theorem for DC analysis. Now, according to superposition theorem, current which flows to any element is the vector addition of currents which would flow through that element if one source is considered at a time and all the other sources are replaced by their internal resistances. Now, what is internal resistance of ideal voltage source? Internal resistance of ideal voltage source is zero. So if internal resistance is not given, we have to replace voltage source by short circuit. Internal resistance of ideal current source is infinity. So if internal resistance is not given, we have to replace current source by open circuit. Now consider this simple circuit. We are interested in current flow through this one core. Now here in this circuit, we have three sources. Four volt voltage source, 1 ampere current source and 3 ampere current source. So total current through 1 ohm will be vector addition of all the currents due to these three sources considered independently. So first we will consider this 4 volt voltage source. Now we have to replace these two current sources by open circuit as their internal resistance is not given. So in this circuit current flow is only because of 4 volt. So we will find out current flowing through 1 ohm only because of 4 volt. Now to find out this current, we can use either KVL or KCL or you can use current divider rule. So this is very simple circuit, we have only single loop, so consider current as I. So if we write KVL equation for this loop, then 4, start from this point, 4 minus 2I minus 1i equal to 0, so 3i is equal to 4, so i is equal to 4 by 3 amperes. This is the current which is flowing through 1 ohm only because of 4 volts. As this is our first case, we denote this current as current through 1 ohm dash. So this is i 1 ohm dash. This is due to 4 volt voltage source. Now direction of this current through 1 ohm is downwards. So this current is flowing through 1 ohm in downward direction. Now we will consider 1 ampere current source. Now when we are considering 1 ampere current source, we have to replace this 4 volt voltage source by short circuit and 3 amperes current source by open circuit. Now in this circuit, current flow is only because of this 1 ampere. Again, to find out current through 1 ohm, you can use whichever method you find easy. You can use either loop analysis or current divider loop. Now, we are going to consider loop analysis. Here we have two loops. Current through first loop is I1, current through second loop is I2. Now, this part is open, therefore, there are only two loops. In this first loop, we have current source of 1 ampere. Our assumed current direction and given current direction, they are same. Therefore, here we get I1 as 1 ampere. I1 is 1 ampere because here current is given 1 ampere. We will write down KVL equation for second loop. Now for second loop, if we start from this point, then our equation will be minus 2 I2 minus I1 <coughs> minus I2 equal to 0. So therefore, 2i1 minus 3i2 is equal to 0, 3i2 equal to 2i1. But what is i1? i1 is 1 ampere. Therefore, value of i2 is 2 by 3 amperes. Now this i2 is nothing but current flowing through 1 to 1. This is our second case. Therefore, we will denote this current as current through 1 to 1 double dash. So this current is 2 by 3 amperes. Again its direction is downwards. Now consider our third source that is 3 amperes current source. Replace 4 volt voltage source by short circuit and 1 ampere current source by open circuit. Again we have two loops. Let us assume that current through first loop is I1. Current through second loop is I2. Now here in this second loop, we have current source of 3 amperes. Now see the direction of given current source. Given current source, 3 amperes current is flowing in 
upward direction but our assumed current direction is downwards therefore what will be i2 i2 is minus 3 amperes as direction is opposite we are taking negative sign so i2 is minus 3 amperes let us write equation for first loop equation for first loop will be minus 2 i1 minus 1 i1 minus i2 equal to 0 so this is minus 3 i1 plus i2 equal to 0 minus 3 i1 equal to minus i2 so i1 is 1 by 3 i2 that is minus 1 amperes now current flowing through one ohm current flowing through one ohm is i1 minus i2 why i1 minus i2 because this one ohm is common for both the loops so our current that is i1 ohm triple dash is i1 minus i2 that is equal to minus 1 minus 3 that is minus 1 plus 3 equal to 2 amperes direction of this current is downwards now the total current which flows through one ohm is vector addition of all the three currents so total current flowing through one ohm will be as direction of all the three currents is same this current will be i1 ohm dash plus i1 ohm double dash plus i1 ohm triple dash that is 4 by 3 plus 2 by 3 plus 2 that is 4 amperes and its direction will be downwards